ever heard of ice that catches fire? Yes, it's real. Welcome to the fascinating world of flammable ice bubbles. This might sound like a scene from a science fiction movie, but it's an actual phenomenon that occurs right here on Earth. Flammable ice or methane hydrate is a compound where a methane gas molecule is trapped within a lattice of water molecules, creating a unique formation that can ignite when exposed to heat. These bubbles of methane gas trapped within an icy cage are found in some of the most extreme environments on our planet, from the frigid Arctic regions to the deep sea sediments. This video is all about exploring the captivating science behind these flammable ice bubbles, their geographical locations, the techniques scientists use to study them, and their environmental and cultural significance. So, buckle up and stay tuned as we journey into the mysterious world of flammable ice bubbles. Wondering where these fiery ice bubbles come from? Well, let's dive right in. These flammable ice bubbles are actually known as methane hydrates. They are a unique combination of water and methane, a potent greenhouse gas. The methane gets trapped within a lattice structure of water molecules, creating what we see as these fascinating bubbles trapped in ice. Now, you might be thinking, how does methane end up in the ice? Well, it's a natural byproduct of the decay of organic material. As plants and animals decompose, they release methane gas. In areas of extreme cold or high pressure, such as the deep sea or the Arctic regions, this methane can combine with water to form methane hydrates. These methane hydrates are not exclusive to any one location. They are found in abundance in the Arctic permafrost and beneath the ocean floor in deep sea sediments around the world. It's estimated that the total amount of carbon locked up in methane hydrates worldwide is twice the amount of carbon found in all known fossil fuels on Earth. But here's the catch. These hydrates need very specific environmental conditions to form. They require low temperatures and high pressures, which is why they are mostly found in the Arctic regions and deep sea sediments. When these hydrates come into contact with warmer temperatures or lower pressures, they can destabilize, releasing the trapped methane gas. And it's this methane gas that gives our ice bubbles their fiery characteristic. When the gas escapes from the hydrate and comes into contact with a flame, it ignites, causing the ice to burn. It's a surprising and captivating phenomenon, isn't it? So, the Arctic isn't just about polar bears and icebergs, it's also home to these fiery ice bubbles. From the icy depths of the Arctic to the deep sea sediments, these flammable ice bubbles are a testament to the incredible complexity and diversity of our natural world. Ready to dive deep into the chemistry of these flammable bubbles? Let's start by understanding the key player here. Methane. Methane, a hydrocarbon, is a colorless, odorless gas composed of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. It's a primary component of natural gas, and it's the methane trapped in the intricate lattice structure of water ice that forms these flammable bubbles. Now let's turn our attention to the flammability aspect. Methane itself is not flammable. Surprised? But it becomes flammable when it encounters oxygen in the right proportion and is subjected to a spark or flame. When methane meets oxygen and heat, it results in a combustion reaction, producing carbon dioxide and water vapor. This reaction is exothermic, meaning it releases heat, which is what you see as the burst of flame when these ice bubbles are ignited. But how does this happen when methane is trapped in ice? Well, the methane in the ice remains in a dormant state until it's released. When the ice melts or is broken, the methane gas escapes into the atmosphere. If there happens to be a spark or flame present at that moment, the escaping methane, now in contact with oxygen, ignites, leading to the fascinating spectacle of flaming ice. It's important to note that this doesn't occur with every chunk of ice you come across. These unique conditions are typically found in areas where organic matter has decomposed under extreme pressure and low temperatures, such as the Arctic regions or deep sea sediments, giving birth to these flammable ice bubbles. We're not talking about a fantasy or science fiction here. This is real-world chemistry playing out in one of nature's most captivating displays, so it's all about the right mix of methane and oxygen that sets the ice aflame. Ever wondered how scientists study these fascinating formations? Well, it's a dance of technology, adventure, and sheer scientific curiosity. They use a variety of techniques, each as intriguing as the flammable ice bubbles themselves. Imagine underwater robots like autonomous submarines navigating the deep sea sediments. Their mission? To capture images and data of these elusive bubbles in their natural habitat. 
Then there are the daring drilling expeditions. Scientists venture to the icy Arctic regions, drilling through layers of frost and rock to reach the methane hydrate deposits. It's a journey to the heart of the mystery, each core sample a treasure trove of information. But the quest doesn't end there. Back in the labs, researchers recreate these bubbles, experimenting under controlled conditions. They simulate temperatures, pressures, and other environmental factors to understand the life cycle of these flammable ice bubbles better. With the right tools, unveiling the mysteries of the deep becomes a thrilling adventure. But what does this mean for our environment, you may ask? Well, the story of flammable ice bubbles is not just a tale of fascinating science, it also carries significant environmental implications. Methane, the gas trapped in these icy formations, is a potent greenhouse gas, over 20 times more effective at trapping heat in our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. If large quantities of methane are released from these bubbles, it could accelerate the pace of global warming, exacerbating the impacts of climate change. It's not all doom and gloom, though. Scientists are tirelessly working to understand and potentially mitigate these impacts. Innovative research is being conducted to explore if methane can be safely extracted from these ice formations and used as a cleaner energy source. However, this is a delicate dance, balancing the quest for energy with the need to protect our planet. While beautiful, these icy flames could be signaling a warming alarm for our planet. Playing with fire is dangerous, and so is playing with flammable ice bubbles. These seemingly benign formations pose significant hazards. Their main component, methane, is a highly flammable gas. When it's trapped in ice, it's relatively safe. But when released and exposed to a spark or flame, it can ignite, leading to potentially catastrophic explosions. Now, let's think about where these bubbles are often found in the icy Arctic regions or deep within sea sediments. Imagine the risk if a sudden release of this trapped methane were to occur. It's not just about the immediate fire hazard. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, more effective at trapping heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. So, a large-scale release could have serious implications for global warming. This is why scientists and explorers take extreme precautions when studying these flammable ice bubbles. The right equipment, safety measures, and a healthy respect for the power of nature are crucial. Remember, curiosity fuels discovery, but safety should always come first. Let's recap what we've learned about these fiery ice bubbles. These fascinating formations known as flammable ice bubbles or methane hydrates are exactly what they sound like ice that catches fire. They're composed of methane gas, a potent greenhouse gas trapped within a lattice of ice, creating bubbles that can ignite when released. These intriguing structures are found in some of the most extreme corners of our planet. They're largely found in Arctic regions and deep sea sediments, where the cold temperatures and high pressures create the perfect conditions for their formation. At the heart of these flammable ice bubbles is a simple chemical reaction, methane, when it comes into contact with oxygen and a spark, combusts to form carbon dioxide and water, releasing a significant amount of heat in the process. This is why methane trapped in ice can ignite when the ice melts and the gas is released. But these fiery bubbles are more than just a scientific curiosity. They have important environmental implications. The release of methane from these formations can contribute to climate change, as methane is a far more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. And yet scientists are also exploring the use of these structures as a potential source of clean energy. These formations also carry risks. The flammability of methane makes these bubbles potentially explosive, emphasizing the need for caution when studying or interacting with them. We also delved into the cultural significance of these formations, exploring how they've influenced folklore, traditions, and even local economies in regions where they're found. The study of these flammable ice bubbles is an ongoing journey, with scientists continually exploring new techniques and technologies to better understand these formations. So, the next time you think of ice, remember, it's not always as cool as it appears. It might be hiding a fiery secret, waiting to be discovered, understood, and perhaps even harnessed for the benefit of our future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. It's London Rain!